Hi there, this is Kinsley. Today is going to be the ultimate showdown between the Techno Camon 19 Pro 5G versus the Samsung Galaxy A53 5G. Price tag on the Techno Camon 19 Pro 5G is 198,000 naira or around 350 to 360 dollars. Price tag on the Samsung Galaxy A53 5G is 225,000 naira or around 400 dollars. Which of these phones is the king of 5G mid-range phones? Let's take a look. The body of both of these devices are made out of plastic. Both of them have a matte finish. The Techno Camo 19 Pro 5G tries to hide the fact that the phone is made out of plastic because of the way it is designed. If you pick up the Techno Camo 19 Pro 5G for the first time, you will be fooled to think that the device is made out of glass because it has a frosted finish and the plastic is quite solid which makes it feel like glass. Meanwhile, the plastic at the back of the Galaxy A53 is just normal plastic with a matte finish, which makes it very easy to tell that the device is made out of plastic. When it comes to the physical size, the Techno Carbon 19 Pro 5G is the larger device. The Samsung is a bit slimmer with a thickness of 8.1mm compared to the 8.6mm of thickness of the Techno. At the left side of both devices, the Techno Carbon 19 Pro 5G has a SIM tray that can take two SIM cards and an SD card. At the right, both phones have their volume up and down keys and their power buttons. But the power button of the Techno Camo 19 Pro 5G also serves as the fingerprint reader. While the Galaxy A53 has an under-display fingerprint reader. At the top of both phones, you have a noise-canceling microphone. At the bottom of both devices, there is a speaker outlet. The Techno Camo 19 Pro 5G does not have stereo speakers, just this single speaker at the bottom which will be very easy to block. The Samsung Galaxy A53 5G on the other hand has stereo speakers. You have a USB Type-C port there, you have a microphone outlet and then you have a headphone jack on the Techno Camo 19 Pro 5G. The Samsung Galaxy A53 does not have a headphone jack which I find really really annoying. And also at the bottom of the Galaxy A53 5G you are going to find a SIM card tray which takes just two SIM cards and no SD card. When it comes to the softwares, both phones come with Android 12 from the box with Samsung promising you nothing less than four years of software update. But the Techno, honestly, I don't know. Both devices are running their different Android skin. The Samsung is running the One UI 4.1 which is a little bit more cleaner and straightforward. The Techno is running the Techno iOS 8.6 which contains some bloatwares that are very very uninstallable. When it comes to the performance, the Techno Camon 19 Pro 5G is running the 6 nanometer MediaTek Dimensity 810 chip, the Mali G57 GPU. While the Samsung Galaxy A53 5G is running the Samsung Exynos 1280 chipset with the Mali G68 GPU. From all kinds of tests and comparison that has been done between the MediaTek Dimensity 810 versus the Exynos 1280, the Exynos has actually proven to be the better chipset amongst the two. So you are going to get a little bit better performance with the Samsung even in terms of gaming because the Samsung even has um, a higher GPU which is the Mali G68 against the Mali G57 that runs on the Techno Camo 19 Pro 5G. When it comes to the internal storage, the Techno Camo 19 Pro 5G only has 8GB RAM option and 128 or 256 GB internal storage option. While the Samsung Galaxy A53 has between 4 to 8 GB RAM options and then it has between 128 and 256 GB internal storage options. Both phones have up to 5000 milliamps battery with fast charging support. The Samsung supports 25 watts fast charging while the Techno Camon 19 Pro 5G supports 33 watts fast charging. It takes an hour 10 minutes to charge the Techno Camo 19 Pro 5G from 0 to 100, while it takes about an hour 30 to 35 minutes to charge the Samsung Galaxy A53 from 0 to 100. When it comes to the display, the Techno Camo 19 Pro 5G has a 120Hz IPS LCD display, which is a downgrade from last year's um, Techno Camo 18 Premier that had an AMOLED display. While the Samsung Galaxy A53, on the other hand, has a 120Hz Super AMOLED display. And by this time, I think it's a no-brainer. You can actually tell 
which display is the better display amongst the two. That is the Samsung Galaxy A53. The Samsung display is slightly smaller at 6.5 inches compared to the Techno 6.8 inches. The Techno Camo 19 Pro 5G has a higher screen to body ratio at 88.7% while the Samsung has a screen to body ratio of 85.4%. Even though the Galaxy A53 seems to be the preferred device when it comes to the display, the display of the Techno Camo 19 Pro 5G is still super gorgeous. One of the reasons I love to display is because it gets to the edges of the device and this is a very very vibrant um, LCD display that doesn't really give it up. The display of the Samsung Galaxy A53 is protected by Corning Gorilla Glass 5 but there is no official word on the type of glass that is protecting the Techno Camo 19 Pro 5G. Again, the Galaxy A53 is rated IP67 water and dust resistant which means it can go underwater for up to 1 meter and last for 30 minutes before it starts soaking water. The Techno Camo 19 Pro 5G, on the other hand, does not have any IP rating, so do not put your Techno Camo 19 Pro 5G inside water, it will end in premium tears. But again, I wonder why the device is not 5G, because almost all the devices around this price category are all rated IP67 or IP68 water resistant. When it comes to the rear cameras, both of these phones have different designs. Now which one you prefer will actually depend on you or your personality. But what I'm more concerned about is the performance rather than how it looks at the back. Both phones have a 64 megapixel main lens. The Samsung has three more additional lenses. A 12 megapixel ultra wide lens, a 5 megapixel macro lens, and a 5 megapixel depth sensor. The Techno features two more lenses. A 2 megapixel macro lens with a 2 megapixel depth sensor. The Samsung can record 4K videos at 30 frames per second with electronic image stabilization. And the A53 can also record 1080p videos at 30 frames per second. The Galaxy A53 has a 32 megapixel selfie camera that can shoot up to 4K in 30 frames per second, while the Techno has a 16 megapixel front facing camera that can only shoot 1080p videos at 30 frames per second. Now, after all this technical jargon on paper, what is the real life performance of these cameras? So, I will let you be the judge of how these photos look like, right? I don't want to tell you this one looks better, that one looks better because our tastes are different and they differ. But do let me know down in the comments though, which one is your pick? Which phone has the best um, video or picture quality for you, right? 